Oh, hello from the moon. <laughs> hello, welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome back to episode three of Deliver Us the Moon with me, Jack. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're enjoying this new series. I really am. Right, so in the last episode, uh, we got the power back online on the sort of like the space station. Then we got blasted off into space. We barely made it back. Uh, we did manage to get the space elevator working and we are now down on the lunar surface. Surface? Surface even. Right, so our mission objective is retrieve an ASE unit to gain access to the MPT control center. Now I did notice when we left off here last time. Oh, I didn't notice, but I do, I do now. Look at that just there what the hell is that looks like a hologram or a ghost probably a hologram but we can't get to it just yet because this is blocking our way and we cannot move it so we have to find an ASC unit Where what I, I want to know what happened to everyone. I mean, oh, all right, it's been five years, and they could have they probably all perished, but ASC required. ASC required, right? So we need, we definitely need to find that ASC. They probably all perished, but what what has happened to them all? What happened? What caused the blackouts? What happened to the two engineers that came down here? What is this? Can we interact with this? No, we cannot. Some cargo. Ooh, look at that in there. There's a map of the Earth there. Vehicle, oh, vehicle bay there in the corner. There, see? Medical, medical. I guess if there's going to be any bodies, it's going to be a medical, isn't it? Right now, can we interact with any of this? No. No inspect. Green space. Recyclable cup. Weird thing to interact with. Uh, oh, ASC. Okay, uh, the software behind your faithful companion, uh, written by Eric Arrange, uh, backside of the book. Dear sir, I found this book. Thought it might, thought you might like it. Please accept it as a thank you for all. The uh, emotions you programmed into my a ASC. Uh, may this book inspire you to program many more. So, I, an ASC must be some sort of companion, some sort of uh, computer, some sort of robots uh, that will help us along. Maybe it's something that will go on to our glove here. Uh, I don't know. I guess we will find out. So. Ooh, we got another voice recording here. Is there anything else that we can interact with? No, let's see what this has to say. Hello? Hello? It seems empty. Where is everyone? I have no idea. I've never seen the base like this. Is Alex getting any heat signatures? No, nothing. This can't be right. I'll go downstairs, see what I can find. Sarah, we'll figure this one out. And thank you, both of you, for saving me when the blackout hit. I know I, um... Uh... team, you must be at the surface by now. Remember, you only have 40 minutes down there. Copy that, Pearson. Minutes. Don't mention it, Rolf. Can you check out the control center and see what's wrong with the MPT? Will do. Keep your comms on. I'll update you when I find something. Right, so they've only got 40 minutes because of the lockdown protocols. So it says, as Sarah and uh, Rolf arrive 
at the moon hub to investigate the MPT blackout. It, it appears that the heart of the WSA's operation on the, room, on the moon has been completely abandoned. Record 25, September 2054, two days, one hour and 32 minutes after the blackout. Hmm. All very strange storage. Uh, Counseling room. Private quarters. Isaac Johnson, lead lunar engineer, MPT supervision. Let's go and have a look. Oh, points of interest. Isaac was uh, devastated when he learned of his wife's death. Uh, ah, and in a dust storm on Earth in 2049, unwilling to, to unwilling to keep his daughter's exposure to Earth, uh, keep his daughter's exposure to Earth worsening conditions. He summoned uh, them to join him on the moon. Claire uh, refused out of concern over Kathy's health and looked after her sister until Isaac. Uh, extended his his influence to gain legal guardianship over Kathy. Kathy was brought to the moon soon after. Ah, so this must be Kathy's little hyperbaric chamber. That is up there. She's got a little teddy bear there. She's got some flags. She's got a globe of the moon. Uh, storybook there can't really see inside there this looks like a sleeping bag or a cushion of sorts some uh, crayons and paint and this must be her father's bed More antidepressants. Yeah, 100 pills, 10 milligrams. It's like the ones that we found on Earth. Picture. Me. She's got like a medical. She's playing doctors. A teddy bear and some sort of. I don't know what that is. Me, Rosa, and Teddy. Who's Rose? Rose is that silver thing. Hmm. This picture of Claire looks like back on Earth and home. Set of flowers, five lessons to make your perfect parents. Five lessons to make you a perfect parent. Right, oh, there's a picture of the moon there. Can we interact with that? No. Right, okay. I take it that will be the toilet. Right, okay, let's we'll clear that room. On. William MacArthur, security and transport supervision. Ah, this is the guy that uh, didn't send the. He didn't authorize the goods to go up to uh, the the station. It's cleaned out, isn't it? Can we go in here? No, but that is a toilet. You can see. Very nice room, didn't he? Looked like he was packing some packing boxes. World Secret Service. This is to certify that Chief of Operations Director uh, W. MacArthur was honorably discharged from the World Secret Service for years of excellent diligence and 
distinguished service. Did we miss anything? Uh, MacArthur, brief uh, update. The evacuees from uh, Tumbark are settled in. Ooh, MacArthur, uh, the bedlam at Tumbark. Tumbark, I mispronounced that. Can never happen again. I'll have no part in that. That was uh, Isaac, the Lunar, Lunar Council. And then Isaac, uh, good. Then we can begin soon. Time for them to make a decision. Ooh. Remember that no leap forward has ever come without sacrifice, Isaac. Survival comes at a cost. Soon the events of Tumba will be just a faint memory. Time to leave this all behind. William MacArthur. Sounds very, very ominous indeed. Can't get in there. It's an interesting painting. Right, we've done that. Right, okay, we've cleared this room. I wanna know, I wanna get down there. Hmm, maybe we'll we'll be able to at some point. By right, whose room is this? Rosa, uh, Lunar Research Division. Private quarters. Oh, actually that's a picture of the map of the Earth, isn't it? Toilet. Again. Looks like a toilet in there. Yeah. Very nice quarters. Object MPT, 100% of coverage. Uh, three squared HE, fusion reactor, MPT. I want to take a screenshot of that just in case we need it for later on. Inspect. WSA recruits top scientists to Lunar Council. In preparation of its uh, impending mission to colonise the moon, the WSA has filled the ranks of the Lunar Council. Established to coordinate WSA uh, efforts on the moon, two seats uh, remained unfilled until top scientist Dr Rosa uh, Levdeed and Dr. Isaac Johnson were awarded position. Uh, Levdeed and Johnson were chosen personally by William MacArthur, ooh, who has a lifelong history in overseeing complex, complex uh, international security missions across the globe and was a recently appointed mission commander to the Lunar Expedition as head of the Lunar Council. MacArthur is to lead the colony together with uh, Leverdeen and Johansson. Uh, too, uh, too many the appointment of Dr. Leverdeen comes as no surprise. Uh, the respected scientist has spearheaded numerous cutting-edge research teams, and is leading an ex and, and is a leading expert in the field of fusion energy development and helium-3, the resource uh, the WSA plans to harvest on the moon uh, on a massive scale in order to fuel the MPT. Operating uh, on the borders between uh, architecture and technical design, Dr. Johnson is renowned for his Emphasis Johnson settlements. Uh, the settlements were designed to withstand the harshest conditions of uh, equatorial deserts. Uh, 
have given Johansson unique insights into construction in uh, physically hostile environments. It is believed that their joint knowledge and expertise will prove vital to the colonization of the moon and the establishment of the MPT. The vast network meant uh, to generate and transmit energy from the moon to the earth. And then on the back of it, uh, how hopeful we were. Ooh. How hopeful we were. Right, is there anything else? No, there is not. Right, okay. That just gives us the stasis. Ooh, what's this? Um so they were given a speech here. Uh, crossroads, Toruth Earth, the best and the brightest, the new age, outward. Outward, yeah. Some biospheres there. And it looks like a, a monorail there. Ooh. Very interesting. <laughs> Why? Why not? Right, okay, so we're going to the, con the council. Green MacArthur, security transport supervisor. Cuttons, MP, uh, MPT online, huge research facility to remain closed. What was that? Oh, was that all closed? These must have been their official offices, offices where, where they actually worked. They're all closed. Oh, this one's open. Oh, hello. What is this? this what is this am i going to get electrocuted when i walk in or i don't know uh, this is rose's office let's have a look well, that's what we could see from the gantry when we first came down I must said, uh, I wonder what that is. It's that image over there. Ooh, what's this? William, what the hell was that speech about? Oh, oh. next chapter, Rosa. It's time. The ships will be ready soon. You can't be serious. The ships? I don't know how you plan to fix this mess, but you'd better do it now. That won't be necessary. Come with me. You are serious. Will, have you lost your mind? We can't leave the colony behind like this, not during this blackout. Not with the MPT signal still offline. People on Earth depend on us. Don't concern yourself with them. Those days are over. We have to start the long journey ahead. That was Ooh. the agreement. The ships were supposed to be our last resort. We didn't give up the first time, and we are not giving up now. When the network is back online, we can provide Earth with power again. We are close, William. No, we're not. We're not close at all. If you still think we can power the entirety of Earth with the MPT, you're more delusional than I thought. We have Ooh. one last hope, and it's outward. Now get ready, because we're going. I'm not leaving, Will. Not like this. I'm not asking. 
Get her on the ship. What? Uh, is what? this really? <sighs> what? What ship? After an anonymous speech, the Lunar Council member William MacArthur. Oh, we've got an achievement there. The witness. Ooh. Uh, William MacArthur comes to collect his colleague Dr. Rosa from a mysterious or for a mysterious journey. Uh, out, outraged, she refuses to join him and uh, contends that the MPT and Earth can be saved. Uh, can be saved. MacArthur doesn't take no for an answer. He uh, doesn't take no for an answer and forces here to come with him records on the 23rd of December 2054 four minutes after the blackout ooh right we'll interact with that in just a second we'll just see if there's anything else yeah that was that when we came down on the space elevator just over there that's what we could see here so this must be one of those Robots? Have a look. Now what do we do? With it? Hmm. Not too sure. But that will be for the next episode. Oh yes, who knew I was going to say that? Yes, we will find out what to do with this uh, magical glowing ball and what uh, secrets it can unlock. Listen, thanks very much for coming along, guys. Pleasure as always. You know what to do. Uh, if you liked what you see, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, ding, ding, ding that bell. Uh, that will let you know the next time I drop a new episode. And until the next time, take it easy, keep safe, and I'll catch you. Later on. Take it easy, guys.